All right, first thing y'all see that cat right there. That's the very exact same cat on New Year's Day 2022. I got a ticket for feed. That ain't what I want to talk to y'all about. First, I want to tell y'all about uh, this neighborhood right here. Y'all see that big fancy house down there? It's two years ago. That was the poorest, one of the poorest neighborhoods in all of Galveston. That there was a boarding house for the poor. People getting out of prison, kind of big, you know, people didn't have nowhere to go. Same across the street there that there was a run-down apartment complex. And what actually took place was here, the city wanted them gone, so they used the city marshal. They hired Bush Stroud to enforce a bunch of bogus codes that are actually violating these people's rights, okay? The reason why they hired Bush Stroud was because our current chief of police, Chief Hayes, at that time refused to enforce them codes, okay? So he refused to enforce them codes, so they hired Butch Stroud, and they fired Chief Hayes, and if y'all remember the, I believe it was in March or the end of February, we had a city council meeting where me and several business, other there's business people in there was complaining about Butch Stroud. They swore in a new chief that day. They swore in Chief Bally, who had just been suspended with pay for 10 days because he, uh, conducted a no-knock raid, which this is the reason for my my video. First of all, I want everybody to know something. I am not scared of the Crips. I am not scared of the blood. I am not scared of the black criminal on this street. I live amongst them, and I am not afraid of them. If you all want to know what I am scared of, what I am scared of is that the police is going to come to my house with a military style unit and like a military organization break into my house and traumatize me and my entire family. That is what I am scared of. I am scared of the police. I am not scared of the criminal. Me being a law abiding citizen telling y'all that, that is a problem. So what we need to do is we need to change all of these police policies starting first of all with the no-knock raid. Do not conduct no more of them no-knock raids because it's bullshit. Okay, the reason why the no-knock raid was first put into effect was in case we was doing a war against drugs and if they're going to dump the drugs in the toilet so we can get them before that happened. But now they're using it because they got a homicide suspect in somebody's house. They think and they conduct a no-knock raid to traumatize the family at 2 a.m. in the morning with a SWAT team that is a military organization. No, you all have waged war against we the people long enough and it's time for it to stop. Time for it to stop. At any rate, first thing needs to go is the no-knock raids. Period. No more no-knock raids. If you think, uh, if I got a warrant on me, look, you can call me on the phone. GPD has my phone number, city council has my phone number, all of y'all. You call me on the phone, I promise you, I will come straight to the police station and take care of that warrant. Okay? But you know, no need to come to my house with a military-style unit and create what y'all are doing. No, it's time to stop that. No more no-knock raids. It's more of a problem than what it is good. The second thing y'all need to do is, is y'all need to understand and your Christianity has taught y'all wrong that you think that you can do whatever you please because the blood of Christ has you exonerated and because the law of the land says you can do it. Now, I'm going to give you an example. A couple, three years ago, there was a 19-year-old brown boy that was killed in the city of Galveston by our police officers. They did not have to kill that boy. He was running from them. They ordered him to throw the gun down when he went to grab the gun while his back was turned to them. He went to throw it down. While he was throwing it down, they shot him. He did not fire one shot. He posed no threat to them police officers, but because the law of the land says they can do it, they did it. And they think because their preacher and their police chaplain has told them it's okay, you're still going to go to heaven. No, sir, there is no sacrifice left for your sin. None. Because you did not have to kill that kid. Even though the law of the land says you can get away with it and you had a legal right, you did not have to do it because he was running. Now, this policy needs to be changed. If an individual is running from you and you shoot him in the back, he better have fired off at least one shot. Because if his back is turned to you, while he is running from you, there is no way in hell he's going to be able to shoot you. Second policy you need to change, your shooting policy. If he's running from you and he goes to throw that gun down and you shoot him before he fires off one shot, then you are guilty of murder, period. 
And you as a police officer, if I'm going to get 25, you should get 50. Simple as that. Yep. The point is, I'm not afraid of the criminal. I'm not afraid of the gangbanger. I'm afraid of the police as a law-abiding citizen. Now, what does that tell you?